Hello, everyone. I'm Mulan Jilei, and I will present you my work on the nosmatic electrochemical sensor for wearable interstitial flowing blood glucose monitoring. By the International Diabetes Fabrication, it's estimated that there are 451 million people with diabetes worldwide in 2017, which will further increase to 693 million by 2045. Diabetes can eventually result in many types of complications, uh, including cerebrovascular disease, retinopathy, and uh, blindness, permanent kidney damage, heart attack, uh, diabetics for infections, peripheral neuropathy. To prevent these complications, diabetes Diabetics have to measure their blood glucose level several times a day for proper control. In recent years, continuous and real-time glucose monitoring systems as a more ideal method for blood glucose management is highly desirable. At present, almost continuous glucose monitoring sensors still rely on enzymes, such as glucose uh, oxidase, to convert glucose to electrochemical signals, which may cause several significant problems and uh, limitations. Uh, as enzyme active and uh, Corresponding sensor responses are influenced by protein denaturation and a few factors such as oxygen, humidity, pH, temperature that are difficult to control in suit. Moreover, the embolization of the enzyme on the electrode often inhibits the enzyme active and slow down the electron transfer, which decreases the sensitivity of the sensor. Nanosmatic electrochemical glucose sensors have been developed to solve these problems, which are based on direct electrocatalytic uh, oxygen of glu glucose on uh, electrodes, including metal um, carbon based materials and uh, polymer. Unfortunately, glucose is more redox active under an uh, alkaline condition, so some of the nanosmatic glucose detection required an uh, additional chemical reagent to adjust the pH, uh, which is not uh, feasible in continuous variable method, method, measurement. In our previous work, we developed a water spiriting assisted electrocatalytic reaction to solve this problem using what in the testing simple as the reagent. We created an uh, alkaline condition on the electrode by water electrolysis. So the nanosmatic detection of glucose can be continuously carried out in the physiological simple with the physiological pH. In this study, we developed a needle type electrochemical sensor with gold as a working electro electrode for nanosmatic continuous glucose monitoring in interstitial fluid. Uh, as shown in the finger, a fully integrated sensing system is developed. So the detection results can 
trans, uh, transmitted to a smartphone via a Bluetooth uh, module in a system on chip. First, uh, we uh, evaluated the electrochemical performance of the electrode in voting. The electrochemical CV test for different working electrodes were performed in artificial interstitial fluid. As a result of the finger one, finger E, the pre-treated um, gold electrode provides a more favorable electrochemical activity and outstanding responses in comparison with that without pretreatment. To further investigate the electrocatalytic active of the pretreated electrodes, amperometry test was carried out. Finger B and C demonstrated the IT covers. Um, by successive additions of various glucose concentrations, the consecutive increase in current has been observed and showed a good linear relationship. This indicates that the proposed sensor has a high cap capability for electrocatalytic detection of glucose. In long-term glucose monitoring, the selective, uh, selectivity, repeatability, uh, stability, and uh, biocompatibility of the sensor are insensitive so, uh, parameters considered. The selectivity of the sensor for glucose sensing was uh, assessed by adding some potential uh, interferences when performing amperometry uh, detection. As shown in the finger D, the influence of this interference on the test results uh, was uh, negligible. In stability and repeatability tests, the relative uh, standard deviation of responses current was small. For implanted electrochemical sensors, the immune response of the body to electrodes has a dramatic influence on the accuracy of the sensor during the prolonged usage. So we investigated the biocompatibility of the sensor by HE and emil histochemical staining of red tissues. The results showed that a mild uh, inflammatory response in the experimental and the sum control group compared to the control group, which indicated that the uh, inflammation was caused by the surgical procedure to insert the glucose sensor only. In vivo measurements were carried out using retis in a control uh, environment. The results showed that the current uh, response of our glucose uh, sensor um, was generally uh, correlated with the test results of the freestyle library continuous glucose monitoring. Um, to further evaluate the accuracy of our sensor, a uh, clock error Grid plot was used. The results indicated that the developed nanosomatic glucose sensor has a, a acceptable accuracy for glucose measurements. 
Based on the bio um, results, a fully integrated device for wearable glucose sensing was developed. As shown in the finger, the device consisted of a, a system on chip with the affection of an electrochemical um, potency uh, potential uh, and a Bluetooth a module for wireless communication with a smartphone, which uh, analyzed the data for displaying the results in a uh, customized app. And the test results of the continuous glucose monitoring system were compared with that uh, obtained using a single personal blood glucometer by taking blood from the uh, tail tip of the rat. The results are shown in the finger. Um, it was from that the glucose volume obtained using our glucose sensor has a similar trait with the uh, blood glucose volumes from the glucometer. Besides, a diabetic red model was established and the glucose was analyzed using the fully integrated glucose sensor. The glucose volumes after the subcutaneous injection of insulin in the diabetic red were measured. As saw in the finger, the glucose values decreased after the insulin injection, and a similar trait for the change in glucose level was observed using our sensor and the reference method. Um, in conclusion, in this study, we demonstrated the Feasibility of this method for glucose detection in red uh, ongoing work is uh, <coughs> focused on further research and uh, development of this uh, technique for its uh, um, use in human body. Therefore, uh, we believe our sensor is uh, promising for continuous glucose monitoring and diabetes management in the future. This is all. Oh, thank you.